Hi everybody and welcome back to Visit File Coast. This is the calm after the storm this. We've just missed Storm Christoph, who's cleared off and left us with a bright, sunny, clear Friday afternoon. So I've popped out onto the beach to do some videos for you. This is Russell Beach at Cleveland and that, that metal thing that's sat there is Mary's shell. That, that big yellow thing in the sky is the sun, in case you were wondering. So before we go any further, don't forget, make sure that you've subscribed to the Visit File Coast YouTube channel. Hit that little bell for notifications and then you'll find out all kinds of interesting things. So today's video is about Mermaid's Purse. Now then, um, if you've watched any of our live beachcombing videos, you might already know um what a mermaid's purse is and I've, I've just been doing a little bit of walking up and down the beach and collecting some stuff so i ha here i have one in the best tradition of blue peter that i prepared earlier are you ready that's just a little one and you can see that its tendril is attached to the seaweed that it was it was growing against un underneath the water now i've also got a little plastic bag with me that I've, I've already collected quite a, well, quite a wide range of, of different mermaid's purses. So at some point, I'm going to walk along the strand line here, which is this strawy twiggy stuff. And then I am going to stop and I'm going to show you what I've collected. And we're going to have a look and see if we can identify them. So what is a mermaid's purse? Well, they're not just all this shape and size. That's just... That's just a fairly small one. The small transparent ones like this are the egg cases of a dogfish. And the big ones that are black are off rays and skates and I've picked a stack up. I've just been round the, the corner of the cafe there, just literally to that, to that wooden groin board. And I've picked loads up just in the space of about 10 minutes of the big black ones. So we've obviously got a, a ray nurse bed somewhere off sea so that all their egg cases are washing up. In fact, there's one here, look. Let me get out of the shadow and then I'm not in your way. Can you see it? That big black thing that's just right centre screen. I'm going to pick it up and I'll pop it in my bag and we'll have a look at that in a minute. So they are the egg cases of skates sharks and rays say that quickly and get it the right way around <laughs> if you can and they are collectively known as are you ready alas mabranks there you go every day is a school day and egg cases these mermaids purses are made of keratin which is the same stuff that your fingernails are made of and I think hair's made of keratin as well, isn't it? And at first, the, the, the fish, there's, there's just loads of them. There's absolutely loads of them. There's another one there, look, a big black one. So that's off a, a, a ray or a skate, and they're those big flat fish. If you've ever been to any of the sea life centres, they're those really big flat fish that usually come to, I don't know, it's almost like they're saying hello. Um, I know the ones in Blackpool are reasonably tame, they, they come right up to you. Um, quite big fish actually, when they're mature adults. And they lay their eggs in these little cases underneath the water and they each have tendrils on it. That, that little tendrily thing on this one that I keep waving about, that bit that's fastened to the top of it, that's part of the egg case and it twirls round something in the sea like seaweed or whatever much like um sweet peas grow up a, a cane in your garden and at first it's a waterproof little case for this little embryonic fish because until they're three weeks old they don't actually have any gills so if it weren't waterproof they would drown wouldn't they and they'd go glug 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 and, and drown and then after three weeks the egg cases develop little holes to let seawater in and the fish starts to learn how to live as a fish and to live underwater. So I'm just sort of moseying along this 
scruffy looking straw which is actually full of all kinds of interesting stuff you just got to watch where you put your feet though because some people still persist in not picking the dog muck up but that's another story for another day oh i think i might have just found something else it's a sea bean oh that's that's shot for today that these come from the caribbean and i found one about a fortnight ago and that's two i found on the chart and never ever found them before so i'm i'm oh i'm really pleased with that anyway back to the mermaid's purses because that's what we were talking about in tech just make sure that's gone in my bag and not on the beach oh i'm really thrilled i found that anyway yeah so the the little fish is learning how to live underwater and breathe through its little farming gills but it takes up to 12 months for that little fish to actually hatch and come out of the come out of the egg case and i'm going to just i'm going to just stop here a second against this little wall and i'm going to empty this bag that i'm carrying and show you what i've picked up and i've got an identification guide in my pocket and we're going to have a look and see see what we can see 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 so i think we might actually even just sit down a minute on this wall right so let's have a look so on this one that i've been carrying around with me you can actually see the little hole can you see it there there's a little hole in that end of it where the the fish is eating its way out so that's that one right i've got my identification thing in my bag in my pocket and i've got a, a little plastic bag here full of egg cases so i think what i'm going to do i'm going to put them on the wall and then we can take a look at them that's better i've got myself organized i realized i've got the sun in the view and you won't be able to see what we were looking at so these are just a few of the many 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 egg cases that are on the beach that i've just picked up in oh five minutes and you can see that there's quite a wide variety of different different ones now worldwide there are 600 different species of these and I don't know what you're thinking, but they all look very similar, except for that big black one there with the white feather stuck to it. That looks, that looks quite different. In fact, in fact, there's a two or three different ones, I think. And then I've just literally, as I've sat on the wall here, picked these up, which are all tangled together with their tendrils. So 16 <coughs> of these 600 worldwide species are found in UK waters but there are more than 30 species of British sharks and only two types of egg cases are usually washed up on our beaches now when I say sharks you're probably thinking jaws not quite that big um, when I say sharks I mean dogfish and catfish and the, the two that, that do wash up are the small spotted catfish and the nurse hound and on our Visit File Coast website, there is a, a page of information about um, Mermaid's Purse, which I will put the link in the, the description below the video. And it gives you all this information. And it also tells you how you can identify and record the egg cases that you'll find. Because if the Shark Trust collects this information, and you can just see I'm, I'm moving, moving down the, the wall to this identification card, there is a download of this on the same web page so you can print it off or put it on your phone or do whatever you want to do um, and they collect that information because it enables them to know how the populations are faring and where the nursery beds are and generally speaking what the, the health of the sea is so they suggest that the best thing to do with them to identify them properly i mean i fell into the classic trap of saying that they all look the same they're not when you look at them but what they recommend that you do is that you take them home, pierce them so that the air comes out and then soak them overnight in a bucket of water and they'll rehydrate and plump up, which will make them look more like this. And then you can compare them to the um, guide and you'll have a better idea of, of which are which. Now I think that one is that big white one. And if you just bear with me a second, I'll just reach over and ooh, pick it up. So if you look at 
if you look at that it is quite square at the top that one there it's quite square at the top oh mind you having said that it's got little horns on it that one so which is that one then I wonder oh oh I wonder if I found a new species none to man no I think it's that blondry actually because it looks almost exactly the same as that <coughs> and these little ones that I've been carrying round they look like a small spotted cat shark I would say it looks like this one here and there's actually a little drawing of the fish as well you can see there that's the, the fish and you'll see them dead on the beach you often see these little catfish and dogfish these so there you go and what's this brownie looking one you see you can't tell properly when you're looking at them dry which colours which colours they are because they all look the same I think that's probably a thorn back ray looking at that shape well that's something for you to do while we are covided you can get yourself a copy of our um, egg case identification guide go out onto the beach take the kids out onto the beach um, keep away from all the people that are on the path and then you can identify all these amazing um, little gadgets little creatures and log them on the Sharks Trust website. So all the information's on Visit File Coast. Link in the description below. Don't forget, make sure that you are subscribed to the Visit File Coast YouTube channel as well, because we, we, we cover all kinds of interesting stuff. It's amazing what there is, what there is to see. Um, and if you've enjoyed this video, give it a like. If you've got any questions, pop them in the, in the comments below. And you never know, you might even find a sea bean. I think before we go, before we go, I'll just have a rummage in my bag and I'll show you this sea bean. These are the seed pods of tropical plants. And they're, they're really light and they're designed to float and they travel all the way around the world. I'm really thrilled to bits I found that. <laughs> You'll have a lovely day now and we'll see you soon. Bye for now. Bye.